Hi everyone, Alex with Up. Today we're going to continue scheduling pipe slopes in Revit. This is part two, scheduling slopes. In our previous video, we built this um, analytical setup so that we could extract some parameters from Revit and calculate the slope. And then in this video, we're going to build a schedule just like this one that you see on screen. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with Bimit Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Now, for our example, these are the calculations and results. I did use a very evident angle, it's exaggerated. A pipe typically wouldn't be sloped so much, but the only thing you need to know is that 1 8th of an inch per foot is equal to 0 0.597 and a quarter inch per foot is equal to 1.19. Knowing that, if we open up our project, so now we're in our uh, working pipe schedule for storm pipes. And I'm going to add a few additional fields. One of them is going to be the outside diameter. And another one's going to be the bottom elevation. Let's add them in order. So top elevation first. And now bottom elevation. And I want the pipe length as well. Now that I have all those parameters, let's clean this up a little bit. So let's go to formatting. And then for diameter, let's keep the format as instead of fractional inches, let's use decimal inches. And let's have two decimal places. Unit symbol, we can keep inches. Now for the top elevation, I think we can go with decimal feet with two decimal places. And this is just for formatting. like. You don't have to do this, I just like it a little cleaner. So, unit symbol, we can use the feet, click OK, do the same for bottom elevation. So we want decimal feet with two decimal places, and the symbol is going to be this one. So for length, same thing, we want decimal feet, two decimal places, and this symbol, OK, OK. Now the fun part. Let's add another field, and that field's gonna be a formula. I'm gonna call this AJS Storm Pipe Slope Calc, because it's calculated. So the value that we're gonna input in that formula is this one down here. So I'm simply gonna copy paste it, and I'm gonna make this an angle. This is very important. So angle, and then I'll paste my expression, and click OK. Now I click OK. Let me open up my 3D view. I'm going to delete this pipe temporarily. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to change the slope and I'm going to make it a quarter inch per foot. Now if I do window tile and I know that this pipe is in system brain water leader 1 so one of these pipes getting closer this pipe right so this pipe here is the one that I want to check its slope I'm going to go all the way to the right, and you see how that's the 1.19. So those are the two values that we talked about in our PowerPoint presentation. Remember the 0 0.6 is this one, and this is the 1.19. Those are the two numbers that you're going to see here. See? 1.19 and 0 0.60, 0 0.60, 0 0.60. So let's go ahead and sort this schedule by slope. So AJS storm pipe slope in ascending order. And now there's something important to notice, right? So if you see all these slopes here, 0 0.60, 0 0.60, etc. If I click on this one, for example, and then I come down here, I can see that the slope is exactly 1 8 of an inch per foot. But many times what will happen is that if you change, for example, a short sweep by a long sweep or maybe a, a sanitary T uh, with a combination wide bend, then you can end up with something like, let's say this one, right? That still displays one eighth of an inch per foot when you tag it, but in the properties palette is not exactly one eighth of an inch per foot. Let's say this one, 0 0.67, right? And then I come here, even though this is tagging as one eighth of an inch per foot, see the slope is not necessarily exactly one eighth of an inch per foot. So what I recommend is that you keep a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of tolerance, so that when you build that parameter that is the storm a pipe slope display. So let me let me get into the fields so you see what I'm talking about. 
So here's the AJS storm pipe slope display parameter that we were building before. And if I go to edit, notice that I start my if conditional at 0 0.5. So that the non-applicable applies only from 0 0.5 and under, right? I want, I want the one eighth of an inch per foot to be displayed not only for the 0 0.60 and the 0 0.59, but also, you know, the 0 0.58, maybe a 0 0.57, or maybe the 0 0.67. So I keep a little bit of a range, a logical range, right? So the one I decided to use was 0 0.5 and under is going to be displayed as non-applicable. But if we went through the same exercise that we did with the 1 8 of an inch per foot slope, you'll notice that all these guys that start with 1 are intended to be at a quarter of an inch per foot, right? So... What I did is, instead of uh, cutting it at 1.04, I cut it at 1. So if it's less than that, then you keep an eighth of an inch per foot. But if it's larger than that, but less than 2, and, I, and this is an arbitrary number that I chose, 2, just because it is pretty far away from 1.19 or 1.2, right? And I know that all these big numbers here are supposed to be the vertical pipes. And you can t and, and those are labeled as non-applicable. So let's check those out a little bit. So this is one ex an example, right at 1.04. So that would be this pipe here that is supposed to be sloping at a, qu at a quarter of an inch per foot. Notice that it's not exactly a quarter of an inch per foot, probably because I changed this short sweep with a long sweep radius or something like that. And then like this one here in the other extreme, 119. Is displaying as a quarter of an inch per foot and this is actually the perfect slope a quarter of an inch per foot see and then all these big numbers down here are vertical pipes so this guy for example would be this one see not computed not computed but then this one here 75.12 is also not computed but it has a different value right so the cutoff point that I decided here was two just because all these numbers are pretty large, you know, like 9. Let's check this one out. 9 would be this one here. And even though it has a numerical value of 9, you can see that the slope shows as not computed. So that's, uh, that's the idea, right? You just pick your numbers so that you have your boundaries uh, set at a, at a logical number. So in summary, the idea would be that you have these guys all the way up here, which are negative numbers. Those are also vertical pipes right you want those to read not applicable this is another example so let's see this one here right and then all these guys from here all the way up to here which are in the 0 0.58 0 0.60 0 0.67 vicinity you want those to be displayed as 1 8 of an inch per foot right all these guys are sloping at 1 8 of an inch per foot and then these guys here from here to here are sloping at a quarter of an inch per foot. Once you get far away enough from 1.2 or whatever, which I define as two, two and above, these guys are again, not applicable because all those are vertical pipes. So let's check the parameter one more time, just for clarity. Pipe slope display, edit, and then you can see 0 0.5 and below, I want it to be non applicable. That's these guys here, the negative numbers, right? 0 0.5 and below not applicable then you have larger than that but under one you want it to be one eighth of an inch per foot so those are these guys here from here to here then if it's larger than one but it's less than two then you want it to be a quarter of an inch per foot which are these guys here and then if it's larger than two then non applicable again because those are vertical pipes I hope that makes sense and then what you do if you want to clean this up even further you can come here to filter and then you can filter by AJS storm pipe slope display does not equal not applicable and then you click OK and it gets cleaned up nicely.